it's Samantha at RecipeThis.com and I'm addicted to my air fryer and one of the great things you can cook in the air fryer is air fryer butternut squash fries. They are so easy and make a wonderful low carb alternative to traditional french fries. They are also fantastic for when you have spare butternut squash but haven't quite decided how you're going to put it on the dinner table. Have you tried the air fryer free mini course? Are you new to the air fryer? Let me introduce you to our five day free quick start mini course. It answers a lot of beginner air fryer questions, gives you simple air fryer recipes to follow and helps you get confident with your air fryer. You can get it for free at recipethis.com forward slash ebooks or search recipethis.com for air fryer mini course. Right, so Dominic's now going to show you how to cut up a butternut squash fries. The thing about butternut squash is most people are frightened to chop them. So I thought there wasn't anyone better to show you than my chef husband Dominic. Butternut squash, when you've got these small ones that you just don't know what to do with, they're absolutely ideal for making into air fryer butternut squash fries. And also, if you follow a diet like paleo, then they are ideal because they are a lower carb alternative to the humble spud. And also, when you are cooking butternut squash for the air fryer, you can also chop them into cubes and then make butternut squash cube potatoes. If you check out our blog at recipethis.com, search air fryer squash, you will see not only our air fryer butternut squash fries recipe, but our cubed recipe as well. You can also search pumpkin because we've also done air fryer pumpkin fries, air fryer pumpkin wedges, and air fryer pumpkin slices. They're all yummy and perfect for a bit of squash in the air fryer. You know, many of my friends have never actually eaten butternut squash and it just seems like such a waste because it's just such a wonderful root vegetable that is ideal for cooking in the air fryer. So, once you have uh, peeled them, it's time to start slicing them. As you can see, Dominic's using a big knife for this so that it can easily get all the way through to it. He told me off for getting the wrong knife out and this is the knife he's chosen so if you think of something similar and then let's say your butternut squash is at end of season and quite small then you can make smaller fries like Dominic's demonstrating in these really small butternut squashes we had that you kind of think to yourself what am I going to do with these they're at end of season they're not the big ones that you associate with in autumn but they're fantastic for cooking like this. And wow, aren't I lucky wife to have a chef as a husband that will just chop up my butternut of squash for me and turn it into fries. I am so, so lucky. And I'm so lucky to have a wonderful man like Dominic by my side. He's normally behind the camera, but he came out to cut up my butternut of squash for me. So now Dominic's been so kind as to slice up the butternut squash, it's time to prepare it for the air fryer. So grab a clean bowl and load in all your butternut squash fries. Of course, you never really know how much you're going to get out of a butternut squash, you don't know how big the seed's going to be. And it's I always prefer to do two rather than one because then I've got some more. Because if you think, what I have here is just two small butternut squashes. So, you know, you could make a lot more from a large one when you're in season, of course. So, salt, plenty of salt. Pepper. I use um, ground black pepper. Uh, that I get from Tesco's. It's just ideal for quick air frying rather than using a grinder. And then oregano. I love oregano on my air fry vegetables. It's absolutely fantastic. And then 
you've got your oregano, you've got your salt and pepper, you just need some oil. So I generally just use the lid of the olive oil. A couple goes on the lid, which is probably the equivalent of about two teaspoons. And then you can give it a good mix. And it's all ready for the air fryer basket. I just need to wash my hands because it's amazing how much olive oil I've got stuck to them at the moment. But it makes such a difference when you use your hands compared to when you use a wooden spoon because you get it everywhere and it doesn't feel like you end up with one bit of button that's squashed that's not nicely coated. So your butternut squash fries are ready to be air fried. Load them all in, make sure they've all got breathing room and that they're a similar size. And then once you've done this, you can air fry them. I suggest you start with 15 minutes at 160 Celsius, 320 Fahrenheit. The reason for this is because they're quite delicate at butternut squash and you want them to cook through and then crisp them. So the butternut squash fries are food, let's check on them. Wow, these are actually perfectly cooked. I would normally put them on uh, for three or four minutes on 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit, which if yours are bigger, do do that. And the ones on the blog are um, longer fries because they were got when the butternut squash was more in season, but because these are more like cubes, they really don't need any longer. They're just perfectly cooked. You know, if you have a look at those, it's just spot on. So there you have it, air fried butternut squash fries. Thanks so much for watching. We would love it if you joined the Recipe This family. You can get as involved as you like. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook or Pinterest. Join our Facebook groups, we have two. Join our Kitchen Gadgets newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to ding the bell for instant notifications. Or check out our podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets and is a great way to listen along as we talk about the magic of cooking with kitchen gadgets. Even better, if you head over to recipethis.com, you'll find more than a thousand kitchen gadget recipes. Think air fryer, instant pot, soup maker, slow cooker, bread maker and more.